and in life. We have to learn to let things go. You know, there's that song from Frozen, let it go, let it go, right? So how do we let go of things that have been bogging us down? You know, the world has been just very heavy and difficult to manage. And what we're all looking to do is to find a new path, a new way. But often we find ourselves stuck on the things that we are holding on to in our heart, in our hurt, in our pain, and we just can't let it go. Sometimes we have regrets. Regrets are the things that we wish we did differently. Ways we thought life would turn out that didn't. And we feel somehow we're responsible that we are responsible for how things happen. And there's a series of circumstances and storylines and free will that all feed into how things work out. But at times in our own self, our own knowing, and I'm sure you've been there, there's that moment, you know, that moment when you think to yourself, I could have done that better. I should have said that differently. I wasn't at my personal best. This wasn't one of my greater moments. I regret I didn't say goodbye to that person or I regret I held on to my anger and now they're gone from the planet. I regret I put my two cents in where maybe I should have kept it to myself because now everyone's at odds. There are times in life is creating our tomorrow. So careful what your thoughts are, careful what your words are careful what everything is in your life because as you notice what you notice and you think what you think and you do what you do and your attention is upon things you create a frequency so if you notice that things aren't working they aren't moving forward they're not feeling good you have to notice that but quickly release the acknowledgement of what's not working and focus on the feeling of what it feels like to be in that energy of the outcome we desire. You know, I, I sit across from people and one of the greatest things I hear from people is I don't know how to change and I don't see a way out. And maybe some of you driving home now, you're leaving your job and you don't see a way out of the career. It's all you know. Maybe you're going home and you don't see a way out of the marriage or the relationship and you're feeling just trapped. We have to let go of what we think holds us to these experiences. You think you cannot get another job because you don't have a transferable skill set, or have you not stopped to look at the assets that you bring to the company, the organization, and the skill set that you have and how it may be transferable to reinvent yourself in another career. Or the fact that you can, if by choice, find the time, I know we're busy, in your life to take up a new study, a new skill, and build towards that. The one thing I've seen in the world, in the universe, in how things happen for and to people is that when we don't make the change, when we don't let go of what's not working, after a while, our guides, our angels, the universe, get a little tired of hearing us complaining. How things aren't working, it's not right, we're not happy. And we cry out to the universe, woe is me. And then the universe says, all right, enough already. They get a little like, oh my God, darling, what's going on? They get a little upset. And so the universe says, well, the energy they're sending out is dissatisfaction. The energy says, I want to change. So we'll bring a change. But we as humans don't like when a change comes upon us. We like to be the director. We like to plan. And you know, God laughs at he who plans. So as we move ourselves forward in our lives and we make a choice, we have to choose from the place of happiness the place of joy, the place of what would feel good. Now, I get it. If you're not feeling good at the moment, how are you going to get to a place of feeling good? Maybe you think life really stinks right now. Look at 
what you believe is holding you back. And sometimes we have to go all the way back. Maybe it's a a belief or a thought or a process that was indoctrinated or surrounded you in your environment, even as little as growing up. That you weren't good enough, you weren't smart enough, or that you were expected to do a particular type of career because that's what got you noticed and approved of your family. You see, there are so many reasons that we as humans take action in our lives. We do to please others, sometimes more than we do to honor ourselves. And later on, it begins to catch up with us. And how does that happen? It catches up with us having more dissatisfaction, having anxiety. It catches up to us in our health. And then we build this sense of weight and stagnation. And the one thing each one of us has had an opportunity to do over these past two years, along with a whole mess of other things, is we've had the opportunity to take a look at where we've been, and what we would like. Even some of the things that we're used to doing or how we used to do it, we're going to have to put our big girl pants on or big boy pants on and let it go because for now, it's not going to be that way. So we have to release it. We have to surrender to an outcome that will work out. We have to trust that there's something better coming. But at this moment, maybe we don't see it. Letting go means surrendering the fear, surrendering to the unknown, and being open to something new and exciting. And there's such infinite possibilities of how it could all turn out. But we have to give it permission. We have to give ourselves the energy of, we can do it. We are excited about opportunities. And as we move ourselves to this new beginning, this new moon, this energy of June, this special day that we are going to start, a new month begins today, a new way to transform ourselves. What would you love to do? And what's not serving you anymore? What hurt from the past are you carrying on like a bag of bricks? What are we choosing to create for ourselves? Because we're afraid of what could be. Because we don't know what it is. This is a moment for each one of us to appreciate the aspects of life that bring us joy. And to choose to change that which no longer serves us. This is your time to be the person that you've come to be in your divine soul self. And we are in this magical moment of transformation. And we are in this magical moment of a new beginning. So let's choose to let go. And as we release, have your hands open to receive what's coming for you.